Greetings to all learners. Myself, Sharda Devre, Associate Professor, Government College of Pharmacy, Amravati, welcomes you to Lecture 7, Subsidies from Indian Government, Buyback Agreement and Contract Farming with Ayush Companies. Under the week 2, Cultivation, Collection and Processing of the Most Important Medicinal Plants. In past decades, it has been observed that the medicinal plant market uh, has become economically active sector. And uh, it is not at the domestic front, but at the uh, global front also, Ayush industries from India are uh, observing the very significant transition. And thanks should be to the very strong heritage of the Indian traditional medicine systems, that is Ayurveda, Siddha, Yunani, Homeopathy, and recently added Sova Rigpa system along with the yoga and naturopathy. This uh, change in the trend, it is uh, uh, due to the fact that uh, medicinal or aromatic plants or these traditional medicinal plants are not only uh, focusing to the pharmaceuticals or uh, Ayush products, but these are also considered very important for the development of the various veterinary medicines. Uh, then cosmetics, toiletry preparations and nowadays very popular sector that is of a nutraceuticals. So from that point of view, uh, the Indian government is also supporting to the Ayush sector, especially for the R&D, regulatory and uh, back-end uh, infrastructure development. For that also in year 2000, Indian government established the special board that is a National Medicinal Plant Board and which governs the cultivation, conservation, processing of these uh, herbal drugs. Uh, about rupees 4000 crore um, budget is estimated for the uh, development of awareness of and uh, for the promotion of medicinal plant cultivation uh, throughout the country. So thus uh, Indian government is supporting uh, to the medicinal plant uh, growers, cultivars, farmers, all the interested stakeholders along with the Ayush industries. There are various subsidies that are observed, uh, offered by the NMPB uh, that are uh, for the traditional as well as the protected cultivation. Traditional means in you know, open field and protected means through the various types of the newer technologies like the uh, plant tissue culture or greenhouse or polyhouse. Uh, and for that also they are providing the various types of the financial assistance. Even the financial assistance is uh, added with the mulching or shed net uh, type of the uh, facilities. Now, uh, means every time there is a question that like the food crops or other crops, is there any insurance to the medicinal plant crop? Uh, so unfortunately, uh, most of the states uh, are not offering the uh, crop insurance to the medicinal plants, but uh, still uh, a revolution is occurring. Um, Ayush industry is asking or Indian government is asking to the uh, reform the state laws and uh, surely uh, in coming days there will be the crop insurance for the medicinal plant also. There are the subsidies 30%, uh, 50%, 70% for the identified specific medicinal plants like this uh, uh, 20% subsidy for these uh, plants like the Acorus calamus, which is called as Watch, Aloe Vera, Grithakamari, Andrographis paniculata, Calmeg, Artemisia anuna, um, Artemisia, then Shatavari, Neem, Brahmi, Patang, Kapoor, then Patharjur, Kokum, Ginkgo, Gutmar. So these are the 45 plants for which the NMPB gives the 20% subsidy for the cultivation. While uh, this is the list of the other uh, plants up to the 77, um, the NMPB offers 50% subsidy for these uh, plants like the Bale, Shirish, Akalkara, Atropa, Varun, then Gambhari, Ginseng, Vidarikhand, Agniman, Sarpagandha, then Damabuti. So these are the different plants. While these are the few plants uh, that are applicable for the 75% subsidy and under this there is uh, Aconite, Agar, uh, Barberis that is Daruhad, Jatamansi, then Shonak, Kutki, 
कोट कुष्टा सो अकॉर्डिंग टू द डिफरेंट रीजन ऑफ द इंडिया इधर नॉर्थ रीजन साउथ रीजन ईस्ट रीजन और वेस्ट रीजन द लर्नर्स कैन डिसाइड द चॉइस ऑफ द प्लांट्स अकॉर्डिंग टू देयर क्लाइमेटिक और जोग्राफिकल कंडीशन एंड फ्रॉम द सिलेक्टेड प्लांट्स फॉर विच टाइप ऑफ द सब्सिडी दे आर एलिजिबल दे कैन चूज इट और दे कैन गाइड फार्मर्स अबाउट चूजिंग द प्लांट्स Uh, based on their geographical climatic conditions and then the applicable subsidy they can submit the application to the nmpb national medicinal plant board uh, the office is in delhi financial assistance by nmpb involves the post harvest management assistance for the drying sheds storage godowns that is up to 10 lakh rupees and 100% assistance for the government semi government or public sector units while 50% for the self help groups cooperatives or private sectors for processing and value addition uh, for processing unit establishment 400 lakh uh, rupees assistance is given so those learners who are interested to establish uh, they can submit the application for the same then marketing infrastructure including the collection center rupees 10 lakh for the rural area and rupees 200 lakhs for the district area for organic and gap certification Uh, 5 lakh for the 50 hectares and depending upon the project and whether for the certification uh, or uh, uh, means as per the area or beneficiary spread over that period of 3 years uh, the assistance is given for the development of the demonstration plots uh, based on the project the um, assistance is given up to the 10 lakhs per plot of the minimum 2 acres for setting up the seed germplasm centers uh, 50 lakh uh, sorry 25 lakhs per center assistance is given by the nmpb national horticulture board uh, that is one of the government body that is also having this different type of the schemes that is a capital subsidy on investment uh, for the horticulture produced then back ended subsidy for the production and post harvest management financial assistance for the technology development and transfer and financial assistance for the market information services for the horticulture crops so most of the times uh, those crops which are considered as a medicinal as well as the part of the horticulture they can take advantage of this uh, type of the subsidies in detail in previous lecture we have learned about the various post harvesting processing technologies and, uh, and further for the technology development and transfer we will learn in the next lectures let's learn about the buyback agreement and contract farming with the ayush companies or any other herbal company so first we will learn that what is the contract farming contract farming is uh, the agriculture uh, production carried out according to the uh, specific agreement that is between the buyer and the farmers and there are certain conditions mentioned in this agreement especially the farmer agrees to provide the agreed quantities and the uh, according to the quality standards and uh, at the time that is determined by the purchaser while uh, buyer can commit or can mention the conditions like uh, uh, these uh, buyers can support the production through the supply of the farm inputs or land preparations or the other technical aspects uh, for guidance for the other technical aspects now there are different types of the uh, contract farmings uh, especially the involvement uh, of the uh, buyer and farmer uh, with the other peoples with or without the involvement of the intermediate people so informal uh, model is generally uh, preferred for the fresh fruits or vegetables and especially for the local markets and it is uh, uh, it is not uh, regulated type of the contract farming model while intermediate model is uh, in that the certain intermediate people are involved like the collectors aggregator or uh, farmer organizations and it is its advantage as well as uh, disadvantage uh, that uh, especially uh, there is no coordination uh, between the buyers and farmers directly or there can be the reduced incomes for the farmers due to the price distortions due to the intermediate uh, people 
then multi uh, partite model is there where uh, it is actually uh, it can be developed from the centralized or uh, nuclear uh, models and uh, where a different type of the cooperatives or community companies domestic or foreign investors can jointly come together and they can uh, form this type of the model and uh, benefits can be shared through the equity well centralized model is there where buyers involvement may uh, vary and uh, this is I means this is for the specific uh, varieties or specific plants and the uh, most of the production aspects like the land preparation or uh, harvesting uh, these type of the things are um, specifically mentioned or uh, this type of the provisions are there in the centralized model this uh, type of the models are uh, usually preferred for the large volumes of uniform quality like that tobacco teas or coffee cotton then are the other uh, medicinal plant products and the buyer sources the products from and provides uh, services to the large number of small medium or large uh, farmers while in a nucleus uh, type of the model the buyer source both from the own estates plantations and from the contract uh, contracted farmers the estate system involves the significant investment by the buyers into the land machine staff and management and this is uh, generally for the uh, generally for the long aged uh, plants that is for the perennials so uh, there are lot of advantage of the uh, contract farming that uh, it makes the uh, small scale farming competitive it gives knowledge uh, to the farmers for the new technologies it reduces the risk of production price and marketing cost which always fluctuates and that is the major uh, issue with the medicinal plant cultivation and uh, due to the contract farming uh, it is uh, i mean this type of the contracts open the new markets which are not known to the uh, small scale farmers then it ensures the higher production for the better quality financial support in kai in the form of uh, uh, cash or the technical guidance uh, is provided so overall there are lot of advantage of the uh, contract farming or the buyback agreement where uh, typically uh, whoever the company is there or uh, the um, buyer is there they initially decides the all types of the conditions and they used to um, ac according to that conditions this uh, throughout the crop productions throughout that medicinal plant uh, production up to the market the facilities are or guidance is provided so uh, it also ensures the consistent supply uh, of this medicinal plant produced to the companies so ayush industries always look forward or positively looks for the buyback agreement or the contract farming but there are the certain type of the challenges also especially the knowledge uh, then there are the chances that there can be certain type of the fake buyers are there or cheating can be possible so uh, this uh, contract uh, argument uh, agreement should not be verbal they should be written agreements because most of the time only verbal or informal agreements are done and that leads to the certain type of the uh, legal disputes and uh, suppose there is a single buyer and multiple uh, sellers are there so that also uh, causes the issues even it has been observed that delayed payments or the low price or there are nothing mention about the pest attacks or changes in the climatic conditions or sudden drop in the price due to the global market change or any type of the situation that occurs during that crop production so from that point of view Uh, it is always advisable that learners should always remember or guide to the farmers or cultivators about the medicinal plants that agreement should be written and it should be legal one it should not be verbal or informal and all the conditions should be uh, mentioned uh, and uh, both should um, means it should be through the mutual understandings of the farmers uh, as well as the buyers
then there is uh, agriculture uh, marketing which is regulated by the states agriculture produce marketing regulations that is apmr acts so uh, that also regulates and develop the practice of the contract farming so government has been uh, actively allo getting to the states or union territories to reform their agri marketing laws so indian government is uh, continuously taking efforts so that uh, those who are interested in medicinal plant cultivation they must aware and they must uh, uh, start the cultivation through the buyback agreement or through the contract farming and for that uh, whatever the support government can give especially the state government so from that point of view the uh, proper dispute settlement mechanism which works better Uh, for the farmers so there are the various states of the india like andhra pradesh himachal pradesh jharkhand karnataka chatisgarh gujarat uh, maharashtra madhya pradesh punjab uh, they are uh, changing their agri uh, marketing laws they are implementing the provisions related to the contract farming there is also uh, nabards initiative in contract farming where there is a special refinance package for the contract farming arrangements uh, for promoting the increased production of the commercial uh, medicinal plants and creating the uh, various types of the marketing avenues for the farms so the, this if there is a financial interventions or uh, uh, fixation of certain rules and regulations conditions in contract farming through the government like the nabard then obvious uh, most of the farmers uh, Uh, consider it is means they welcome such a type of the revolutions so extension of refinance scheme for financing the farmers uh, for contract farming uh, besides coverage of the medicinal and aromatic plants so uh, extension of refinance scheme for contract farming under automatic refinance facilities are also uh, there uh, in case of the uh, or under the contract farming uh, rules now the key minimum requirements for the uh, appropriate contract schemes uh, that uh, i mention you uh, it is very important that it should be written then uh, most important other, other part is that uh, uh, from the point of view of uh, uh, certain sudden damages or change in the market value change in the global markets so uh, from that point of view Uh, farmers rights should be get protected then uh, sometimes uh, there is a rise in the uh, fertilizers or pesticides or uh, propagation material or suppose if there are the women farmers then their right should also be uh, protected so thus uh, this type of the uh, contract farming or buyback agreement are uh, really useful to the all farmers so we have learned in this lecture the subsidies from the indian government or various schemes of the indian government or the state governments then buyback agreement and contract farming with the ayush companies uh, or the other type of the companies then role of the nmpb or various uh, regulations related to this financial assistance the criteria for the financial assistance and the role of the uh, state government or indian government as a mediator in the uh, medicinal and aromatic plant cultivation or promotion so learners hopefully you have understood how the government is uh, implementing the various schemes uh, for the uh, betterment of the ayush industry ayush system and globalization of the indian traditional medicine and aromatic plants thank you